Eugen Turkanu. Arrested at 23 years to 6 years in prison. Intelligent and strong, opportunistic and vindictive, cruel and violent, Eugen Turkanu was the one who led the de facto re education from Potesti prison. He tortured hundreds of students, coordinating the entire process of mistreatment of prisoners, and remained known as the darkest figure in the entire process of re education. Born on July 8, 1925, in Susiaba County, Turkanu attended the courses of the Dragos Voda High School in Kampulan Moldovanisk, where he enrolled, in December 1940, in the Brotherhoods of the Cross, not out of legionary beliefs, but rather out of opportunism. After the suppression of the rebellion in January 1941, he was not arrested, and his activity was relatively low. From 1945, his removal from legionarism was accentuated by his enrollment in the Union of Communist Youth, two years later, in the PCR and in a diplomatic school of the Central Committee. Meanwhile, he had been admitted to the Faculty of Law in Yash and married the daughter of a legionary commander, together they would have a girl. Having the prospects of a diplomatic career, Eugen Turkanu felt very acutely the arrest of June 25, 1948, and the sentence to seven years of correctional imprisonment for his legionary past. Imprisoned at the Susiaba prison, Turkanu likes the idea of re-education and founded the Organization of Prisoners with Communist Beliefs ODCC. He comes into conflict with Alexandru Bogdanovasai, both for his position in the relationship with the authorities and because Turkanu considered him insincere in terms of the re-education action. Transferred to the Potesti Penitentiary in April 1949, Eugen Turkanu was coordinated by Iosif Nemes and Ion Marina, representatives of the Securitate, and his actions were supported by the penitentiary administration, led at that time by Alexandru Dumitrescu. It is not clear who had the idea to introduce violence in the process of unmasking and re-education of detainees, but Turkanu adopted and developed it. Eugen Turkanu led the torture of detainees from the inside, as he was the one who decided to send the aggressors to different cells. He beat hundreds of inmates, forced them to mock their families, their faith, and the options they had been imprisoned, and to declare everything they had not declassified in the investigation. Many of the victims had nothing left to confess, but because of the tortures, they invented names and happenings. He is directly responsible for the premeditated death of Alexandru Bogdanovisai and, at least, moral author of the other deaths in prison, between 1949 and 1951. Transferred to the Gurla Penitentiary in 1951, he noticed that he had lost his role to Pope Atanu, but stopping the violence affected his confidence in the plans of the authorities. Transferred at the end of the year to Jalava, Turkanu seems to have understood his delicate situation. Between 1952 and 1954 he went through three long investigations, in which he stated that he had done nothing but follow the instructions received from the representatives of the Securitate and that he acted for the benefit of the communist regime. He was sentenced to death and executed on December 17, 1954, in Jalava. There is no definite information about his last months of life, but some testimonies advance the idea that Turkanu sought forgiveness for his actions, asking a priest if God can forgive many and heavy sins. However, the memory of Eugen Turkanu would persist in the dungeons where some of his former victims were imprisoned. For a long time, some of those tortured by him did not accept the idea that he could have died and still expected Turkanu to appear in the cells and start the mistreatment again. Marcel Patricer The Secret of the Fort 13, Time, 1994